Minglawa and welcome to Amar Radio's Myanmar today. I'm Michelle with the recent news and reports from around Myanmar. Tora Suizeng got the latest report on a Myodal Luto discuss sugar import and local production. Willison will give us all the details on school and women begins. Agajo has the details on how successfully China held national wide exam admit COVID-19. Tora Suizeng will have the full story on buyers' preference on used autos and brand new autos. All of these reports will be coming up on Myanmar today, but for now, let's take a look at what's happening in local news. The second Bidansu Lodo Union Parliament began its first day meeting of 17 regular sections on Monday. Firstly, the Speaker of Bidansu Lodo extended greetings at the section. The relevant union level organization submitted proposal on ordinance number 1/2020 on union taxation law and clarifying about it. The relevant union level organizations reported the COVID-19 economy relief plan CERP and 2020 to 2021 fiscal year national planning bill to the parliament. The finding and remark of joint bill committee on national library bill that is controversial between the two parliaments was read out. On behalf of the union government, the relevant union level organization reported union budget bill of 2020 to 2021 fiscal year to the parliament. The finding are in the remark of the joint bill committee on animal health and development bill was read out. The Union Taxation Bill 2020 was also submitted to the Parliament. The first day of 17 regular sections of Bidul Lodo began at 10 a.m. on 13 July 2020. After the Speaker of Bidul Lodo has taken a seat, one Tamro Bidul Lodo representative took an oath of office in front of the Bidul Lodo Speaker and then signed the oath document. Next, the Pidu Luto speaker extended words of greetings. During this section, the Luto representative raised the SRA mark questions, including the responsibility of a member of a party and if a party member runs an election by representing other party. Is it against the Section 21 of Political Parties Registration Law? Issuing notification of directive and regulations not to open voting boxes and count the votes before 4 p.m. of election day to avoid the leak of vote results. Arrangement for the good connections of MPD telephone lines in Mumei Township and other two questions. The Luto speaker notified the Luto about receiving Myanmar Telecommunication Commission bill approved and sent by Amuda Luto, submitting report by the bill committee and inviting Luto representative who want to table the amendment proposal. Myanmar nationals continue to return from China through border gates, including Laogai and Chinshui Ha. Under the supervision of Northern Chen State, COVID-19 Prevention Control and Treatment Committee, an authority have been helping the returnees to return to their respective states and regions through Lasho. On Monday, 134 returnees returned to their respective states and region through Lasho, according to the Information and Public Relations Department. Officials from Ministry of Social Welfare, Relief and Resettlement, allowed with government officials from Kitchen State, provided relief aid to flood victims in Kitchen State yesterday. The flood water from Aori in inundated low-lying areas in Mijina and Waimo of Kitchen State, including Rambu, Japangchen, Legong, and Mutaji quarters on 11 and 12 July, forcing 579 local people from 136 households to take temporary shelters. Officials handed over 579 closed masks and 136 bars of soap to the flood victims in Kitchen State, and they were educated on key messages and actions for COVID-19 prevention measures set by Ministry of Health and Sports. The authority were also planning to provide full staff to the flood victims, according to the Social Welfare, Relief and Resettlement Ministry. That's all with the local news. Now we'll move on to our first report. 
on the first day of 2nd Amuda Ludo 17 regular section, which was held on 13 July, the Ludo representative raised a question about Myanmar's sugar industry. Wu Antu, Deputy Minister for Commerce, responded to the question highlighting the performances to enhance the local sugar productivity. The second Amuda Ludo kit of the first day of the 17 regular session on the 13th of July. Out of the questions raised by the Ludo representatives, Wu Chun Wu from Mandalay Region Constituency 2 raised a question about the sugar import, local sugar production, and sugar cane famine. In recent years, the sugar production in Myanmar has been down because the refined sugar is mainly imported as well as there has been a transit trade system which is re-exporting the imported sugar. The local food enterprises which use sugar as one of the raw materials import the refined sugar. The traders also imported the sugar from other countries in accordance with the regulations of re-export and import license, and then they also exported the imported sugar to China, adding as the transit trade. Moreover, for the import, some are doing illegally. In addition, especially when the sugar drops in price in the international market, the food enterprises purchase more than the necessary amount and they sell the extra amount in local market. Even though the Jamia has a no mia just in it, let Jampamana mia be a soup bomb be. The sugar produced locally is facing lower price and the much sugar is left in stock. The sugar mill suspend production and so the sugar cane farmers face with losses, which lead to the unemployment of basic workers. For the reason, it is important to perform that the local food enterprises are to import only the amount necessary for their manufacturing. The traders are to re-export the sugar through transit trade permission without distributing locally and illegal trade is to be taken action. Only then, the local sugar industries will improve and be able to produce high-quality sugar. The GDP can be raised in that way and the livelihood of the sugarcane farmers will be enhanced as well. So I want to raise a question that what the plan is to remedy the negative impacts on local sugar production and sugarcane farmers when the import is rising. In response to the question, the Deputy Minister for Commerce, Wu Aungchu, explained that the raw sugar is exported, but the refined sugar cannot be produced even for the local consumption. In 2019, 45,931 acres of sugar cane were planted, and the sugar production was 11 million tons. The production of sugar from one acre of plantation is relatively low. In 22 sugar mills, 400,000 tons of plantation brown sugar can be produced, but only 10,000 tons of refined sugar can be produced. This amount cannot meet the local demand for refined sugar. The size is small and the quality is not good enough for profit. Because of needs in local consumption, it has to depend on import and there has been illegal import. To remedy the impacts on local sugar production and sugarcane farmers, the Ministry of Commerce accredits to export the sugar and other related products. <laughs> As of 26 of June, 90,471 tons of raw sugar were exported. Starting from September of 2018, the ministry has already terminated the re-export permit. The ministry allows a necessary amount of sugar import for the manufacturers, including coffee, tea mix, quicker art, can condense milk, long-lasting food, and other enterprises accredited by Myanmar Investment Commission. Until 26 of June, 91,509 tons of refined sugar were imported. We have performed full duty at Mayanchong Inspection Gate of Miaori Yangon Trade Road. In Yangon, the sugar distribution point, Bayinam Market, is inspected regularly. Under the leadership of Vice President U. Henry Bentiu, Nima Sugar Forum 2019 was successfully held, which conducted 
12 working procedures for the development of sugar industry in Myanmar. Related meetings were additionally held to solve the problems of the sugar mills losses, sugar remaining in stock, financial difficulties of the farmers, and greening all harvested sugar cane. The high-quality seeds were distributed as well as knowledge sharing was performed to increase the rate of one-acre production and to reduce farming expenses, according to the deputy minister. News reported by Dora Susan from Nima International Radio. That's the report on Amuda Lodot to discuss sugar imports and local projection. The enrollment of school for grade 11 and grade 10 kick off from 13 July across the country and the parents. And according to the report, the school will give priority to the old students rather than the newcomers this year due to the limited sources in the school. Willison t- will tell us the full report. The academic year 2020 and 21 will open from 21st of July. And in order to be able to start the class from 21st of July, the schools have started to receive the enrollment from 13th of July, where the parents and the students hurry to the school for enrollment. As the school will be open amid the concern over COVID-19, the academic year 2020 and 21 is unlike any other year where proper rules and regulation will be implemented by the teachers in giving class and strict social distancing will be followed by everyone. From 13th of July, the enrollment for grade 11 and grade 10 has started and it will be followed by other grades from higher to lower grades. However, it is learned that the old students will be given priority in enrollment and the new will be accepted. Only the old students are all enrolled in admission due to limited space and resources in the school. And the first phase of admission will be open till 17th of July. Doma Miyaji is the headmistress of number four basic education high school alone township and she spoke to my radio about the present situation of opening schools for the students and she said Long before we opened the school admission, we had already planned all the necessary works to be done and all the preparation for the school. When the students and the parents come to the school for the admission, they must keep themselves six feet apart. And as soon as they are inside, they are checked for their body temperature and then they will proceed further to their respective rooms for the admission. We have measuring 30 to 24 feet classroom where the chairs and tables for 20 students have been arranged there. One teacher will help the students with form filling procedures and another teacher will help with providing one face shield, three masks and the test books which the government provide for all the students free of charge. The school will have two shifts in a day where the first shift will begin from 7.30 in the morning till 11.30 a.m. and the second shift will begin from 12.30 p.m. until afternoon 4.30 p.m. The students will have five periods in a day and overall the students will sit roughly four hours in the classroom. Dr. Omar Kin is one of the parents who comes to the school for her child's school enrollment and speaking to Amai Radio and she said, <laughs> As COVID-19 is stay present, I cannot say anything what will be the situation for my child in his schooling. Somehow I'm afraid that my son may get infected, but when it comes to education, we have to go on. But I will make sure that my son has masks, hand sanitizers, and other protected tools. Even though there's a stay fear, I don't think my son will roam around and hang out with his friend much, and hopefully everything will be fine. But on the other hand, some of the parents are a bit concerned that some people have become quite careless when it comes to protection of the virus, not bother even to wear a mask and keep social distancing. Dorothy Dahla is one of the teachers at number four basic education high school alone, and she also spoke to my radio and said, From today, we have started to receive the enrollment for both grade 11 and grade 10. We make sure that whoever comes here follow the rules and regulations, keep safe distance, and 
hand washing is a must. As a teacher, the thing which makes a worry is the students might get infected, and I don't want anything to happen to these students. But here we prepare everything and give our best to protect the students so that the parents and the students don't have to worry much. Makintetaza is one of the students who will be studying her grade 11 this year, and she also said, I am happy that the school will open soon. And to keep myself protected from the infection, I must wash hands carefully and frequently, need to keep six feet social distancing, must wear the mask all the time, and face shield as well. I'm ready to go back to school with no fear. Giving her message to the students and the parents, Domemiaji said, To all the parents, there is nothing to be worried about the schooling of their children regarding COVID-19. And I want the parents to send their children to school without worries because we have all the required protective tools from washing basin to fixed shield. Two teachers will be available to help the student in every classroom. The teachers will look after the students even when they use the bedroom. So the message I would like to give to the parents is not to worry at all when it comes to COVID-19 infection. This is Wilson for MI Radio. That's a report on school enrollment begins. Stay with us as we bring you more reports on Myanmar today. An estimated 10.71 million students took China's National College entrance exam for 2020, starting on July 7th. This is the largest organized collective activities nationwide since the COVID-19 outbreak, although it has been postponed for one month due to the coronavirus. The examination came to a close nationwide Friday. For more on how Chinese government's efforts in implementing effective measures in organization, organizing the exam amid the pandemic. Agatha has details. China's National College Entrance Exam, known as Gaokao in Chinese, came to a close nationwide Friday. The test is such an important examination that almost nothing can disrupt it. But this year, Due to the COVID-19 pandemic and so many uncertainties, some adjustments even had to be made to this test. An estimated 10.71 million students took China's National College Entrance Exam for 2020 starting on the 7th of July. This is the largest organized collective activity nationwide since the COVID-19 outbreak, although it has been postponed for one month due to the coronavirus. For this year, there are more than 7,000 examination sites and about 400,000 examination rooms across China, with around 945,000 teaching staff participating in the related work. Masaji Nguyen, China Media Group CI Myanmar Department, explained more on the measures exercised during the exam. ဆိုတာလောက်ခွင်တဲ့ညနေကဒီတရုတ်နိုင်ငံမှာအာတက်ကတိုးဝင်ဝင်စာမွေးတွေဒီစပါးခဲ့တယ်အဲကျောင်း
It is China's version of American SAT. In Mandarin, Gao Kao translates into high exam. It is a title the annual test certainly lives up to. Masaji Nguyen continued to comment that the technology gap among the different countries hinders the education system of the different countries at the time of the pandemic. อ่าอยากคุยเรื่องเกี่ยวกับอาชีพนี่กาลาด้วยมาอ่าปัญญาเอกนาชีพนี่ตรงแต่อย่างเป็นโซลูชันเนาะที่เกี่ยวกับอา
This is the modern age when even the kids can use online well. If the buyer wants to buy an auto, he can search from the model he wants and check the details of the auto, including the price. So no one can increase the price much more. And online sellers offer the same price as physical sellers. Being user friendly, many people are working for auto buying and selling online, even if they know little about the car. The experienced dealers make sales in the outside market. They use a digital platform only to check the price. One advantage of digital platform is that if you know the model number, you can know everything about the auto. Some online markets call for a higher price so that most of the buyers use the digital platform to check the price to compare with the ground level price. Also, the sellers use online platform just for marketing. Wei Min is a managing writer from Muyan Car Calci Center, and he also said. During previous years, we imported used cars from Japan, and now we sell brand new cars from China. We mostly sell with the installment plan, as well as helping buyers during the outbreak of COVID-19. We postpone the payment for three months. About 40% of sale is affected because the businesses are shut down. Autos produced with SKD system are being sold. Used cars from Japan faced with 10% to 15% decrease in sales. Since only left-hand drive cars can be imported, the buyers have to pay approximately at least 50 million chats. And SKD produced cars, Chinese-made and Korean-made cars are more preferred because they cost only around 30 million chats. During the COVID-19 outbreak, most buyers are rice and bean distributors. Selling with an installment plan is about 75% of total sale. New policies are laid down in Myanmar often and they have impacts on auto market. The experts report that if the postponed scheme of providing car permit to the government's employees resume, there will be changes for the auto market in Myanmar. Outside auto dealers and showrooms are working in line with the current policy and some are getting profit as well as many sellers have faced real losses in Myanmar's automobile market. That's a report on buyers' preference on used autos and brand new autos. And that's all we have for today's report. And now it's time to check on some international news here on Myanmar Today. Chief Executive of China's Hong Kong Special Administrative Region, HKSAR, Kerry Lam on Monday announced that the region will impose a ban on public gatherings of more than four people starting from Wednesday amid the spike in COVID-19 cases. Twelve kinds of venues with a high risk of COVID-19 infections, including beauty salons, fitness centers, will also be suspended for seven days from Wednesday, Lam said. On Monday, Hong Kong reported 41 local infections of COVID-19, a new high since the COVID-19 outbreak rebound since early July. South Africa will reimpose a ban on the sales of alcohol and a nighttime curfew to reduce pressure on its hospital as coronavirus infection rise rapidly. President Siri Ramaphosa said on Sunday. Ramaphosa's government imposed one of the strictest lockdowns in the world in late March and delayed a surge in infection, but it has since eased many restrictions over fears for a struggling economy. The numbers of COVID-19 cases are rising fast, and the country has the highest number of confirmed coronavirus cases in Africa. It is now recording the fourth largest daily increase in new cases worldwide. Two experts from the World Health Organization have arrived in China for research on the source of the new coronavirus. China's foreign ministry spokeswoman Hua Chengying confirmed at the daily press briefing on Monday. Hua said the two experts will cooperate with Chinese scientists and medical experts and discuss related questions, but did not provide details on the expert itinerary in China. Hua said the experts might also make a similar trip to other countries and regions. Hua told reporters, quote, WHO also believes that to trace to source of the virus is a continuous and developing process, 
which may involve the multiple countries and regions. WHO will conduct similar inspections in other countries and regions as needed. End quote. And that's all we have for today. Thanks for joining me on Myanmar today. I'm an intern at Comichelle. Have a good day. Until next time.